Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? Today is the day we're going to declutter some powders. We have to lighten the load of this powder drawer. Well, look who's in here. Johnny on the spot today. Happy birthday, Biddy. Seven years old. I'll get you up a little bit early, okay? okay. Love you. <laughs> it's her birthday today, so she's super excited. And I have a little scavenger planned for her. Notes all over the house, little things to find, seven different things to find for her birthday. So anyways, powder declutter needs to happen because actually the day I declared that that definitely had to happen, my drawer even got stuck. Like it wouldn't shut anymore. Something got stuck back behind. So that needs to go down. And I thought I would outline my face of the day first. It's always a different combo of things. You know, I, I feel like sometimes people think, well, you're not doing different looks if you're not like, wearing a completely different eyeshadow color or a completely different lip color, you know, but really in makeup, as many of you know, the subtle changes can be just in part of the complexion routine. It might not be something anyone, you know, from the outside looking in really notices, but like you're trying different combos, you're working with different things. So today I'm wearing my Polite Society More Than a Pretty Face Skin Caring Foundation. I wear the shade Very Light in that. I've got my Derma Blend Concealer on, so I feel like the base is looking really even and pretty full coverage. Um, I topped that off with Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and um, the Pressed Powder from Lawless. For contour, I use this Tower 28. This is their Sculptino in the shade Hammer. And then I put the True Match Lumi Bronze it on top of that just to kind of like, I don't know, soften it a little bit. This is my blush. This is the Huda Glowish in Caring Coral. And then my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette on top of that for a highlight. I kind of dug into my collection a bit and rediscovered this one from Tarte for my eyeshadow. I love this little Maneater palette with the three quads. So it opens up like that. And I've honestly got some of everything in there. Just dark on the outside. I put a little bit of that pinky shade and the one beside it like on the inner part of the lid. And it's just an easy everyday look, but I just like the quality of those shades. They remind me a lot of the way the shades in the various Tartlet palettes would function. Um, the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner across the top. On the bottom, I smudged a little bit of my Laura Geller Kajal Longwear Liner in Smoky Amethyst. Um, just a little bit on the outside. I did do a light liner in the lower inner rim. I popped on these false lashes, the Naked Lashes from Ardell in the style 425. So they're really, really fluffy and light. I've been trying out this new L'Oreal Panorama Mascara, so that's kind of under review. Um, Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner. This is in the shade Blush, so it's giving me that overall pinky color. Um, and then what made the lip color just a little bit cooler was putting one of these Hard Candy Lip Melts on top. This is the one called Meet Cute, and you see that pink tone. It's sheer, but it kind of just altered the color of that lip liner just a little bit. So that's the face. I'm going to put those things away right now. You guys, this is the powder drawer. It's crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. Um, loose powders, yes, they're bulky, but there's too many. Um, there's press powders. There's powder foundations. There's uh, translucent pressed powders. There's just honestly a wide variety of categories within what's simply known as powder. And I've even got a couple that I had to just remove in that situation where things were getting caught in the back part of the drawer. Anyway, what we're going to do is attempt to do some categorizing here and some weeding out per category. What's just been taken out of the drawer are anything I would call a pressed, sheer, brightening, translucent, setting powder. Any of those words could apply to the name. And this is what they look like, and let's talk about them. What I really need to do here is cut this amount in half. This one that I pulled out, I mean, it's beautiful packaging. It's that NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder, which I have really tried to like, tried to get into. Um, I just never feel like it's doing much on the skin, and I feel like I should let it go. I've tried to enjoy this product, but I just can't get into it, so I'll let that one go. I immediately noticed this one from Mally, the Anti-Powder Tinted Finishing Brightener. You know, it seems to be a nice powder. It's not been used a lot by me, and I just feel like I could let this go and maybe share this with mom. Mom likes a good, you know, translucent, pressed, or loose powder, and sometimes when I see something that I just haven't really taken the time to get attached to, and it's a really, really needed clean out. I just need to go ahead and cut ties now, you know? Remember this, the translucent pressed version of the Laura Mercier powder? I loved that back in the day and haven't used it in so long. Also, I have my Kosas Cloud Set. I keep Airy out here on my table. 
but this is breezy and I'm going to hold on to that as well. It's a shade darker than Airy and it's such a good formula. I could see me using that all over the face more. We got this Laura Mercier that is like a luminous pressed powder. I think I'm gonna keep that. This is a product I've had over the course of years. Um, I feel like I haven't used it that much yet. Pan has been hit on this one. Haven't used it anytime recently. Airbrush Flawless Finish from Charlotte Tilbury. I'll keep that. My one size powder in the stage white shade, such a unique thing. I will hold on to that. Oops. This little powder from e.l.f. I'll keep this too. This is the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. It's very affordable and honestly a really compact size. I like the Brighten Up from Essence. This Stay and Slay from Hard Candy. I really like this stuff, but I don't think they're making it anymore. So I think I can set that aside due to relevance. Do I need two white finishing powders from Wet n Wild? One is called the 5-in-1 Essence Primer and Finish Powder. One is the Bare Focus Clarifying. Okay, I'm gonna keep the Bare Focus. I can't find this one on Ulta's website currently, so I will pass that along. NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I do love the way that layers in with the entire Can't Stop, Won't Stop line. This little guy from Dollar Tree, this was good. The infused pressed face powder, but again, it was good, but it's been lightly used and I think very comparable to like this one from Wet n Wild, so I will pass that one along. Mom, you're getting some new translucent powder options. The Revolution Super Matte. Okay, I have this in two shades. One is the translucent, one is the beige. Mm, I did like this powder. I'm gonna keep this one, let go of the darker tone. Secret Brightening Powder from Laura Mercier. I will keep that, just a unique product. I love my little Besame Compact. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's got like the brightening violet powder in there. And three different Hourglass Single Compacts. One is Ethereal Light, one is the Infinity Powder, and one is Diffuse Light. I will be keeping those as well. So, getting rid of a small stack here. Getting rid of a little less than half. We're chipping away, y'all. We got more. Um, some of these have a little more color to them. Some I might even call powder foundations, but this Physician's Formula Butter Believe It, I do really like that stuff. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna let go of this Essence 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. Um, the shade is just a little too light for me to work that as powder foundation. It's more looking like a translucent powder, that kind of brightening tone or something I'd use up on the under eye, and I've yet to be able to take advantage of it as powder foundation. So we'll be decluttering that. Um, this is my Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the first shade I ever had in this formula, which is the Natural Beige, and Porcelain is that one that I love up on the under eye. It's very similar to Kosas Cloud Set and Airy. Where is Porcelain, by the way? It could be in the bag of some makeup I used on the girls for cheer, but I'm gonna let this one go. I never reach for that anymore. Neutrogena Mineral Shears. Mm, it's all right. I'll put it in keep for now. This LYS powder, I gotta tell you, that packaging fits with nothing. It's been more of an annoyance than an asset. I gotta say it's the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. Decent formula, decent to average. I can let that go. Bobbi Brown, this is the Vitamin Enriched Pressed Powder. I like that. I'm keeping that. Physician's Formula Butter Glow Pressed Powder. This is kind of a dupe for that um, Infinity Powder from Hourglass. I'm interested in keeping that as well. I like the Revlon Color Stay Press powder. Oh, here's porcelain right here. Yep, keeping that shade. For sure keeping my Huda Glowish pressed powder, kind of a luminous setting powder. CoverGirl Clean Matte, haven't really formed an attachment to it. I think I could let it go. It's just kind of an average powder for me. This Sephora Micro Smooth, I really like this um, bake taste powder here. It's nice for an all over shade for me. I will keep that. And this By Terry palette, it's the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder palette. I never reach for this. I might give this to mom. She might like that. I'm just not seeing its purpose in my life right now. This is reminding editing me. Now we're gonna switch to a clip from the phone, looking at the drawer. Here's what it looks like now. Um, still some pressed powders to go through and then we'll get to the loose ones. I have not put the stuff I'm keeping back in. This is the get rid of pile right here. These are the keeps. They're a little more spread out, but yeah, we're gonna go through the rest of the press stuff. I'm getting rid of this Revlon Translucent Powder Photo Ready. I, that looks super obvious on my skin. Can't make myself like the clean and visible. There's some level of shimmer in that, and I also hate how the top just pulls off instead of twists off. So if there's loose powder lingering in the top of that, it's just gonna psh, fly out like a cloud. I pulled out two of these Makeup Forever Powder Foundations, and I believe this is the newer version, so I'll let this one go. This is the Law Perfecting Powder. I used this today in my look. I really liked it all over the skin. We'll keep. Laura Geller, various formulations. We have the Double Take Baked 
powder foundation in a mini there. I'm keeping that. Her illuminating version of powder foundation. Yes, just fast track her in, y'all. This pure four-in-one pressed mineral makeup. I don't think so. Haven't been using it. Milani Conceal and Perfect powder. I do recall really liking that. Very velvety, very full coverage powder. I have the one size in my skin tone match. So you saw earlier that stage white, but that's the skin tone match. I'll keep that. I got the NARS Soft Matte powder, and I think I was intending for this to be something I could wear all over, but it's the shade Cliff, and it's incredibly light. Packaging, though, is super compact. I may still get use out of it. I will keep it. The full size of my Laura Geller Double Take. We have MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus, too light for me, and Medium, which still kind of looks light, but I don't know. That's a great powder formula. I would hate to let those go, actually. I have a Studio Fix that was purchased fairly recently, and I will keep that, too. And Maybelline Superstay Powder Foundation. Gosh, I'm not weeding out a lot, am I? Ooh, I've also got ELF's Camo Powder Foundation that I'm going to keep. <laughs> Are they still making this Too Faced Born This Way pressed multi-use complexion powder? Because that texture feels really good. I might be having a rediscovered moment on that. I'm just pulling out some loose powders that I know I'm going to get rid of, and I'll tell you about them in a second. Where was Rimmel Stay Matte in Creamy Natural? Oh, we're keeping CoverGirl Outlast in the red packaging. Okay, rapid fire. Here are the loose powders I'm getting rid of. Hopefully it's enough. Um, this RMS Beauty Unpowder, Tinted Unpowder. I've not been reaching for it. I don't know that I'm really interested didn't in get into it. Dalton Doll Skin Perfecting Treatment Powder. Oh, I did really like that. This is going to be left out for if there's room. Hard Candy Chilling Wonder does not chill. I wonder why I still have it. Translucent Loose Powder from Hard Candy. I think I can let it go. And the Glossier Wonder Powder, letting that go as well. Not huge on that method. Now we're going to look and see what loose powders remain in here. Loose powders that remain. Yes, this drawer does need to be like significantly wiped out, but you can see I've got Elf. Underneath that, I got Believe Beauty. I've got L'Oreal Huda. The way these are in here will certainly shift around, but Laura Mercier in the Brightening Pink, the Ultra Blur, that's Derma Blend. Givenchy in the Pastel Shades, which I'm not nuts about, but I paid too much. <laughs> Laura Mercier Secret Brightening, Fit Me, of course, Photo Focus, Laura Mercier Traditional, two one-size powders, one's just tiny. Great for travel, actually, to fit a tiny size loose powder in. Hourglass Mini there, Makeup Forever. We've got a couple Besame things that are kind of special that we're not going to let go of, say, the Laura Mercier that's a little more illuminating, that's my sandstorm of Stay Matte, but I have a creamy natural of it, and this is my fairly recent purchase of Derma Blend. So what I'm going to do now is take the stuff that remains, this is the remaining, and see how it fits. Guys, we did it. Look, I know this looks like a lot, but this makes sense to me. If you're saying, where was Laura Geller, Baked Balance, and Brighton? I have like a little Laura Geller handy stack over here on my desk. So that's in there. My L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear and my Huda Pressed Bake and Snatch or whatever, Lift and Snatch. Those are in a small little touch-up dish right here. Still trying to think where I took my Rimmel Stay Matte and Creamy Natural. But some things were placed where they are due to frequent or infrequent use, but a lot of it is just where does it best fit. If I feel like it's sort of infrequent use, but I definitely want to keep it, it's back in here. These are the lightweight, either brightening or more translucent pressed powders. These are your full coverage or just all over skin tone pressed powders. Hourglass and some just kind of hard to fit. This one's huge, so she's hard to fit. But a lot of my other loose powders can go around the perimeter here, as you can see. Laura Mercier Compacts, also a little more bulky than the rest, harder to fit. And Max are kind of hard to fit as well. So they've got their zone and other Laura Geller stuff that I have, just powder foundation wise, is right over here. So I feel like this is going to work for me, guys. I mean, I can't afford to add a whole lot more to this, but I can see what I have and and it's divided up in such a way that I understand it. So there you go. And this is everything we're letting go of. Ta-da! So friends, thank you so, so much for watching. I don't know if this was interesting or not. Those For those of you who like declutters, um, hopefully you enjoyed this. I do feel like we made some good progress. We still have a drawer with a lot in it, but for doing what I do, wanting to try different products, different combinations, comparing different things, reviewing things, you know, having a decent sized collection is part of my education. So I really feel comfortable with where we're at now. So thanks for your time, my friends. I will see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.